It's August 15th. We got four days before our flying sheep hunt. I still have to get my tags. That's what I'm here to do now. Even though we're going for stone sheep, we're gonna take tags for goat, moose, caribou, elk, black bear, and we've even got a limited entry grizzly bear tag. So it's gonna be a good hunt. Stay tuned. We all flew in together, but separated at the lake. Mark and Perry headed up one drainage, and Ben and I headed up another. Here we go. We're all loaded up. Start of our 10 day sheep hunt. Woo! There is no worse feeling of isolation than when your plane just leaves you and drops you off on a 10 day sheep hunt. Here we are, no turning back now. It's August 19th, it's 10 o'clock. We just landed about an hour ago. Yeah, got all of our gear sorted, got our gear hung. Some spare gear, clothes, we got some fishing gear, some warm food when we get back that we don't have to pack, some nice canned food. Will be something to look forward to during the hunt. About ready to split ways and head up the mountains. Evening in day one, got our first big game animal spotted. This caribou. Man, it's nice to see some animals. All right, we're eight hours into day one. Already a few lessons. Few lessons learned. Number one, don't poop upwind <laughs> of your glassing spot. I was wondering. Yeah, that was gonna be number one. That is number That's one. Number it one. will ruin a spotting <laughs> location very quickly. We worked all day to get up here, and then he freaking ruins it. <laughs> number two, don't try to side hill across a rock slide. Bad idea. Uh, it worked out. It did work out and it got us to this awesome glassing spot, which you also ruined. Number three, bring two hiking poles. I almost brought one. I panicked at the last minute, went and bought a set. Best thing I did. We got three goats spotted. 20 pies in, let's take her up all the way to 60. Got a little phone scope. Wake up the morning of day two. We got our camp friend. He's safe for six more days until season comes in. What do you think? Oh yeah, super flat. Feeling the burn? No, never. We're hiking out of this ravine we glassed for the past day. We found four goats in here and we think we found their honey hole. They uh, cavern right at the base of this rock face. There's like an inch of poop covered all the way back up in there. It's unbelievable. Well, second day is coming to a close. About to have dinner. 
didn't see anything which is disappointing for as much area as we covered um, from that one vantage point I mean we could see four different mountain ranges and just some perfect sheep country didn't see anything so got a game plan for tomorrow we'll glass glass a few hours in the morning and take off down across the ravine all right tip number three pick your hunting partner wisely I'm starting to doubt right now what? that I chose wisely. Why? What was the reason? You just so you go on a ten day ten day sheep hunt. Oh. Okay. He packs one pair of pants. They're not even rain pants, even though it's supposed to rain for four straight days. He already it's, has screwed himself. It's your your stepbrother who's the meteorologist. Like I don't trust any meteorologist, <laughs> let alone like at all. Like. He's a, he's a naval meteorologist. Okay, we'll it's go, not we'll, even a meteorologist. We'll video to like my invention. <laughs> anyway, we had a very, morning, right? very detailed weather forecast and it was completely ignored. Yeah, it was. <laughs> he, his boot had already fell out of the tent at night when it rained. And, and he invented his boot a solution is, to that. It's the second, it's the third day. <laughs> we have six more days and he's already wearing a garbage sack around Did you tell foot. him about your giant grizzly bears that you found? I, th I think he did. I think he want my perspective here. So this guy is, is glassing over there and spots the world's biggest grizzlies. They're, they're huge. No, they're massive. no, I said they were, they were, <laughs> no, they they're were massive. Cubs. I said they're And he's freaking out. Grizzlies. He's like, okay, look, 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 look over there. Biggest grizzlies on the planet. I said two small grizzlies. Oh, they're two little porcupines. <laughs> if I'm seeing porcupines at 800 yards, I think we're doing all right. Yeah. I mean, funny. I might need some help on game identification, but <laughs> we're getting there. Anyways, talking about hunting partners. <laughs> The end of day three we made it to where we wanted to hiking within about five minutes of glassing we had six sheep spotted first sheep of the trip three days in and two big ravines that we've come up and out of yes yes ben ben did see the first sheep <laughs> we've seen 11 sheep all lambs and ewes in three different groups how many goats We've seen 22 goats in one one group. Unbelievable. 22. And a moose. And a and a monster moose. He's the fronts are unbelievable. He's got five points on one and four on the other front, but his paddles are terrible. So, but it was fun to see him. And then two nice caribou. We saw him right at the end of the day. We glass the same basin we did last night. We've seen about 13 different lambs and ewes in here. We saw those two caribou right about there. And we saw that moose last night. But today, the game plan, we're gonna hike up the, the mountain where we're camping. Peek over the top and open up a whole bunch of different drainages for us. Looks like a really, really good sheep country from the maps. But we'll see you today. I have to admit, it's the first time in the trip that I'm disappointed. I found this drainage months ago on a map. And I just, I marked it and just like, I have to go there. I know there's sheep in that drainage. I know it. We get, we come up here and climbing up the hill on the backside, there's sheep trails and, and poop everywhere. It looked good. The drainage looks as good as I expected. I mean, it looks amazing. There's even water holes in there, which I wasn't expecting but no sheep. So, really disappointing, but it's only day four. We did see our 13 lambs and ewes across a big valley. So there, there still might be rams over there that we haven't seen, but um, you just gotta push on, onto the next valley. Well, we moved over to another drainage. We spotted two more groups of sheep, but they're both ewes and lambs, so. We're total up to 26 sheep, five groups, and all using lambs. I'm starting to think these um, these females breed themselves. So 
Now, because I know Dad and Perry probably still won't know what a sheep looks like after their hunt, I'll go find scope these. It's day six. Our caribou friends are back. Upon further examination, both of them are legal. The big one actually has a three prong on his front beam, on his front point, and a three prong on his on his back point. So he's he's definitely legal. He's, he still doesn't have a kicker, but um, he's pretty nice. He's really really wide and tall. And then the uh, the smaller one, he's not as wide, but he palmates at the top. So he's got five on the top, and he's got a kicker, which is exactly what makes him legal. So I think Ben Ben's got the first call in the caribou, and Ben says let's. Let's uh, sheep hunt today, and if, if they're there tomorrow, we'll go after them. So that's what we're going to do. So it's Ben's call. Ben. Oh. Ben. Oh. Ben. Oh. God. <laughs> oh. 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 If you want to shoot him, let me know right now. That's fine. I just gotta, I just have to prepare myself. It's day six. We have put in a long morning hike, spike up from base camp. Check in one last basin for uh, sheep. Didn't turn up anything. So we're switching gears. <laughs> we are going to kill this moron, a caribou. We, we spotted them this morning. It's the same ones we've been seeing all trip. Two days ago, we didn't think they were legal, but we really started looking at them. And both of them are actually legal. I think only Ben's gonna shoot the big one. I had goat and sheep the first shot, and he had caribou. So I don't think we wanna pack two caribou out. So I think yeah, we're gonna good. take one. Good pack two. He, ben likes a challenge, but I, I think we've got to work it out with us with one and maybe a goat. So that's the game plan. All right, it's the moment of truth. We're right over the knoll to our lookout. Ben's stress eating. He's too nervous. He can't handle the pressure. Did you just seen him try to load his gun? He's like, oh. All right, here we go. Caribou. All right, we're set up. Psalm. Oh well. Tomorrow we'll have a morning glass and then we'll pack up. Start heading back to the lake. Hopefully catch a goat on the way back. Hey, we're a nice caribou too. Disappointing. It's the morning of day seven. The caribou escaped us last night, but they have not escaped us today. We have spotted them and bedded them. They are right, right there in those trees. So we're gonna drop down, drop down this canyon, drop our gear right here, catch this creek all the way up, and come up behind that knob right above them. So here in a few hours, we should be right over top of them. Round two with these guys. So a little background on what you're about to see. The, um, the hillside we were cresting was not quite as wide as we thought it was from glassing. We were expecting to come over at about 100 yards from where they were bedded and we crested just about 20 yards and they they saw, they heard us stood up and then um, the video will take over but I struggled with the focus with the camera right right in the beginning but luckily the shooter wasn't um, quite ready either so it, it made for an entertaining uh, few minutes it's gonna make for a long few days packing them out so 
We got it done though. That's that's the main thing. And get up and shoot him right now. Ben, he's right there. Ben, he's right here. Come to the left. Come to the left. Come to the street. Good shot! Good shot! You got him, Ben! Good shot, Ben! You got him! Yes! He got him! That's the little one. Ben, he's right here. He's right here, you dropped him, bud. You freaking smoked him. Look at his buddy. Yeah, his buddy's a little confused. Ben. Yes. Why don't you unload that thing? Yeah. Well, we finally stopped for camp at 7.30. We started hiking with him at 2.30. It took us about four hours to get him cut up. It was a really, really tough day hiking. We climbed up this one hill, basically crawling up it. It was, it was tough. It was definitely the low point of the trip so far. And Ben slipped crossing a log and really gouged himself bad. We were, we were really, I was really nervous there for a while. I didn't know how bad it was, but I think it'll be fine for at least the next few days until we get flown out, but. Ben just got all the meat hung. Now he's got to salt his, uh, the part of the hide he's taken. And he's got to get rid of all the velvet off the horns. Although it is possible to preserve the velvet, we didn't bring the proper chemicals to do so, which was a bit of a shame because that was the first velvet animal either of us had killed. Go shoot it because I'm packing out Ben's caribou. I don't think he deserves it. I don't deserve it. But huh. it's what friends do. <laughs> it's my goat over there, Ben. Right on. I think we're gonna go back. Hopefully. We got pictures. This is always the hardest part. You look like such an idiot. <laughs> the Lord's blessing our way home. Well, we got back to the cabin pretty late last night. We hiked for about seven hours yesterday. So it took us about a day and a half to pack him out and 12 hours of total pack time. But we made it. Now it's time to do some fishing and wait for uh, Dad and Perry to come back. Oh, yeah. Due to the pilot schedule, we had to be flown out that evening. So I couldn't get any videos of the lake or the older team dragging in. But they scored a nice billy and were happy to have just survived the week. <laughs>